All right, looks like we have another kitten coming up. Olive has completely lost her ligaments. Her udder has popped. She is isolating herself. We moved Daphne's babies from the middle stall over to the last stall. I got so many messages about using the pelleted bedding instead of the pine shavings, and so I gave it a try. But I don't like it. It's so dusty, and even though it's super absorbent, the fine particles can absorb a lot of urine. It's it's too it's too dusty, and it kind of defeats the purpose of me putting the rubber mats in the stalls. So I'm moving back to pine bedding. We're taking out all of the pelleted particle bedding. I definitely don't like straw either. Straw is really dusty and causes us to sneeze and have allergies a lot. So it looks like we're gonna stick with the pine shavings, which have always done really well for us. So it's not quite as absorbent, but we just have miniature goats, so it should be fine. All right, we've got olive in here with fresh bedding. We are ready to go, guys. We are ready for more kids. It'll be interesting to see how many she has and how many doling she has. So while we're waiting for Olive to get started, let's go ahead and review the possible genetic colorations of this pairing. Because Olive is a black goat, we know she has two copies of the black gene. That's the only thing that she can pass on. She cannot pass gold from her sire. Her sire is gold. She cannot pass that on. She can only pass on black. So it all comes down to what is Finnick gonna bring to the equation? Because we need two copies, there still, can you believe this, is only a 50% chance of them being Chamazé and a 50% chance of them being black. So even though at first glance you think, oh, there's a much greater chance of them being black, because we need two copies of those black genes, we still have a 50-50 chance. So who knows? We do have a 50% chance of the kids having blue eyes though, because Olive has blue eyes, but we don't have any chance of them being pulled or having any moon spots. All right, so we had a lot going on. The camera was kind of set too close. We had some family over to watch and then our neighbors were cutting down a tree. So it was like mayhem the day that Olive delivered. So I'm gonna give a bit of a recap so you don't have to stare at like this up close image the whole time. So the only problem of the kidding was that the first kid coming down had its head tipped down and wasn't entering the pelvis correctly. So the problem with that is that the doe just pushes and pushes and pushes, which is what she kept doing, and there wasn't any progression. Nothing was coming down the canal. So I went in and checked, and sure enough, there was a head down and no feet forward. So I got one of the feet forward, got the head up, got it into the canal, and then she pushed out the rest of the way. She did great. There we go. Ah! There it is. Oh, it's a big one. Give me a Chuck's pad behind you. And then right after that, she had two more kids. They just flew right out of her. Gosh, that's oh, even bigger. Goodness, that's, a, that's, a, that's a big one. Oh, so big. Yeah, that's that's a big one. So she had in total just three kids but they are huge. They're probably a good five pounds each and no extra fluid. So as you guys remember last year, there was a ton of extra fluid. We have no idea what, what happened or what caused it. This time she was <laughs> normal fluid amount guys, but these kids were huge. So she ended up having two dolings and one buckling, which brings our total this year to 10 dolings and two bucklings. I don't know guys, that's pretty good. That is crazy. Get close up. <laughs> Oh, he's got the cutest thing. I know. He is too. Oh. Okay, okay. Oh, brown. That's really brown, Danelle. Oh, is she more brown? Yeah. She's nice and calm. Yeah, she's a sweetie. Oh, she is more chocolate. Oh, she is more chocolate. Oh, what was that? Come here. Do you want some of this? You want some of that? Yeah. They just chow down on it. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. They love it, you know? Yeah, they do. But Olive did great, and she's a great mama, loving on all three. They are hungry babies. They are voracious. They're eating more than any of the others. They're so big, that's probably why. Oh my goodness. How are we going to tell these three apart? Oh my gosh. You guys all look the same. So this one is the buckling. Of course, he's gonna be the flashiest. He's got a cute little face. You're the cutest, huh? This is one of the dolings. She's got one little 
marking on that side. She has blue eyes too, or she's the first one that has blue eyes. And then let's see this one right here. This one has a little bit more white on her nose, a bunch more on her leg, on her side, and she has blue eyes, I think. Oh no, oops, you don't have blue eyes. So they, this doling and this buckling, they don't, but this doling does. All right, so in the past, I've said I hate food names. This time I will let you guys choose food names because Olive is technically a food. She's also a tree, but. And her babies look, have colors just like food. You gotta get in the camera. And the babies have perfect colors for foods. Yes, they do. <laughs> but, Desserts. Um, yeah, you guys have to promise me that you'll think of really cute names because normally food names I don't think are that cute. So you gotta think of some really cute ones for Olive's bunch here. Yeah. So we're gonna do themes this year if you haven't noticed. With Tilly we did the Matilda uh, play or musical. Uh -huh. And those names we chose were Miss Honey, Lavender, and Newt. And then, you didn't miss anything, we haven't chosen any for Hazel or for Daphne yet. That will be in the next video. I'm still deciding on the theme I want to do for them. Okay. But with Olive, um, I'm pretty sure we've got to stick with the food theme. Because, mm. yeah, I think that's going to be better for hers. Now, we still have Tatum due. And she's due in the next couple days here. So... It'll be interesting to see what she has. We think she has two to three, at least two. They're gonna fall off. Yeah, we need the we need the other ones. This right. The pinky one works. <laughs> so get five of Have of only the pinky. There we go. Looks like, <laughs> like gonna work. He looks know? so funny. <laughs> He's like, what the heck is going on? Okay. You look so weird. <laughs> I think that'll work. Okay. okay He's right. gonna walk so weird. <laughs> is that weird? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Cody, come on, Cody, 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 Oh, <laughs> lost all of them on the way there. <laughs> Stop trying to escape. Go on. Come on, Cody. I think he's ready to go out with them now. So. Just about. So my only concern with little Newt is his ability to run away from a mama out there. Because if we put him out there full time during the day, we'll go out to feed him obviously, but he'll need to be able to run away from the mamas because they're gonna be a little bit mean to him. So we need him to be strong enough to do that. And yes, he graduated from the sweater. He doesn't have the sweater on anymore. We're trying to make sure that he can regulate his temperature in the house, which he only wasn't able to do the very first day of his life, but We've also had him in the house and he's had a sweater on, so we need to make sure that he can handle, you know, 65 degrees in the house so that he can handle it outside in the daytime and at night out in the barn. He's doing so good though. He is a big boy eating lots of food. So next video, we're thinking we'll give him his first day out with all the siblings. We'll see how it goes. Come here. Start a walk in. There you go. She's good. Yeah, look at that. So as some of you guys noticed at birth, one of Daphne's dolings had sort of stiff or bowed legs. And this is most likely due to a selenium deficiency. It's not uncommon, especially when there's five babies that she has grown inside of her. This is the perfect dosage for newborns. Not so great for adults. Come on. There you go. Daphne's doing a great job caring for all three. No rejection is issues yeah, anymore. she is totally back to normal. Doing a good job. I think being out of pain really helps. Being a good mama. Yeah, she's doing a good job. They are drinking lots of milk from her. Okay, we can rest easy. Daphne is taking care of all three, doing great. No rejection issues, so we're happy. And they're all just so cute. This one with moon spots is so cute. It's a good thing I soak my shoes in milk. <laughs> yeah. Oh.
takes a little while for their ears to fully straighten out. <laughs> he is definitely in charge of the whole group, oh, man. for sure. Yeah. He is like the dominant one, which usually the bucks are. So she is definitely a sweetie. She's not the instigator, but she'll follow along and do, do all the naughty things. But she's very sweet. She has blue eyes. No moon spots, I don't think. Maybe one will pop up here or there, but just black and white. Doesn't cry that much. Yeah, she doesn't, she doesn't complain that much. He is a tank. He's eating all the food, obviously. Drinking all the milk. Got blue eyes. He's gonna be very handsome, for sure. Very handsome. Okay. Now and this then, <laughs> she needs to have we should call her Rachel Berry because she needs like the front and centers. I know, you need so much attention all the time. And complains if she doesn't get it. Yeah, she's Loudly. definitely a complainer. But Daphne was like that, we joke about it, but Daphne was like that as a kid and then she mellowed out and now she's like a super sweet doe. Only complains over major things now, but we just laugh at how when they're kids they just... Oh, are you all ready to get milked? Huh? Now, Miss Honey here is the most mischievous little baby goat we've ever had, even worse than her mama Tilly or Finnick. So she's definitely gonna top those two, aren't ya? We already disbudded them. We disbud them at about a week old, so they just got disbudded today. That's why you see the little round circles on the top of their head. But yeah, she's just, she thinks she's in charge and she thinks that she can look at anything she wants to. <laughs> Well, when you're so cute, you get to do that. Yeah. Now, Lavender is like a different kind of naughty. She is not as curious. She's a little more shy with us, but she definitely is like Honey's sidekick, for sure. She's a little bit of a bully, huh? A little bit, yeah. I would say that. And then this one here that is yet to be named, we're still thinking of themes. She is a sweetie and a mama's girl. She just loves 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 to be oh watch out that's not your mama <laughs> she loves to be around hazel she's like they're just a mini me totally just besties and this one hiding down here we still have a named because this is hazel's other one and we haven't done a name theme for them but she is so sweet she's just very chill she goes off by herself and explores definitely an introvert yeah. <laughs> Normally she is hopping around, but she's just taking a rest right now. 